All right, hello, algebra scholars. This is the wonderful activity, Shira, the sheep. This is a great activity for understanding inequalities. Please try to understand how the inequality tells Shira to eat what she eats, or he, or they. I don't know what Shira is. So first, when you start a Desmos activity, just try random things and see what happens. What do you notice about this? The inequality says x is greater than or equal to zero. What happened with the sheep? Sheep landed at zero. Sheep moved to the right. Is that what we wanted? I don't think so. Let's try something else. Let's see what happens if I change this number. Maybe I want the sheep to go to negative 10. Now what happened to the sheep? Sheep landed at negative 10. Sheep moved to the right. That is still an unhappy sheep. Shira the sheep does not like water. If I have the sheep walk to the right, the sheep will hit the water. I saw many people trying out all kinds of creative inequalities and really getting frustrated with the idea that, oh, I can put it at negative 20, and now the sheep will hit the ground way to the left, but that sheep will move to the right. So when we have an inequality, the number is the landing place for Shira, but the direction that Shira walks is the direction of the inequality. So I hope that it has become obvious by now that what we need to do is tell Shira to walk to the left. And so I'm going to change this to x is less than 10. Now Shira is going to land at 10 and walk to the left because numbers that are smaller are further left on the number line. That's what less than means. But I don't have a happy sheep because there's this single blade of grass that is left over right here. And unfortunately, Shira did not get to eat that grass. Shira is quite the hungry sheep. So how can I make Shira eat the grass that sits exactly at 10? I need to tell Shira that 10 is a solution. So I'm going to go right back here and I'm going to hit equals. If you just type the equals button, it will underline your inequality. And what that means is it's now a closed circle. It means eat exactly at 10, move to the left and eat all the numbers that are smaller than 10. Shira has a party hat. Moving on. Now we have 5x is greater than 15. I want you to notice that there is no underline. This sheep cannot land exactly on the boundary point. What would happen if Shira did land exactly on the boundary point? Let's try it. How did I calculate x equals 3? Well, I saw in my original inequality that I have 5 times a number is greater than 15. So the first thought I had is 5 times what makes 15? Well, 5 times 3 makes 15. And I told Shira to land at 3 and stand there. And Shira landed on the little muddy cliff and fell into the water. So x equals 3 is not a solution. This inequality is not underlined. You cannot equal exactly 3. You will fall in the water. Nobody wants wet wool. So what we have to do instead of saying x can equal 3 is just tell Shira that x is strictly greater than 3. Now Shira will land infinitely to the right of 3 and eat all the grass and will not fall into the water. That is a happy sheep. Notice that when I said x is greater than, Shira walked to the right. And in the first slide, x is less than, then Shira walked to the left. So you have where it lands and what direction the sheep goes. Now we have some, some slightly uh, more complicated problems where we end up with a couple steps of algebra that we could do. What we can do, just like we've solved hundreds of equations, is do the opposite to both sides. Opposite of minus 5 is plus 5, so we have 16 is greater than or equal to 2x, and we divide by 2 to get 8 is greater than or equal to x. I'm going to go ahead and just type in exactly that. 8 is greater than or equal to x greater than, just hit the equals key x, and I want you to notice something. I typed in greater than, but Shira walked to the left. And that is different than what I just said on the previous slide, when it was greater than, Shira walked to the right, and when it was less than, Shira walked to the left. What's different here? 
The difference here is that my letter X is on the right side of the inequality. This is actually saying that the number 8 is bigger than the solutions. The number 8 is bigger than the numbers that Shira will eat. I could have also typed in X is less than or equal to 8, and Shira will be just as happy because I am asking Shira to eat numbers that are less than or equal to 8. Please convince yourself that those two statements are true. It's something that you have to do in your own head. 8 is greater than x is the same as x is less than 8. You use the same algebra skills we've been working on all year long to solve these problems. Let's look at one other one here. This is a crucial example, so please make sure that you are still watching. Solving this inequality, I have 10 minus 6x is less than 70. Subtract 10 from both sides, so negative 6x is less than 60. Divide both sides by negative 6, and I get x is less than negative 10. So now I'm going to go and try it out, and we'll notice something. What happens? Oh dear, she removes exactly the wrong direction. Now I want you to think about any number in your head. As long as you didn't think of the number 0, you're okay. Think of a number. I want you to multiply your number by negative 1. What you should notice is that no matter what number you choose, if you multiply it by negative 1, it switches from one side of the number line to the other. A number I thought of was 7. And if I multiply 7 by negative 1, it switches to negative 7. And what we're seeing here is that multiplying or dividing by a negative completely changes the direction that you're moving on the number line. Positive numbers move to the right, and if you multiply them by a negative, you have to flip completely over. It's a complete mirror image. So this is extremely important. That when you divide by a negative, like I did right here in this step right here, I must switch the direction of the inequality like that. When you divide or multiply by a negative, you must switch the direction of the inequality, and that is how you make a happy sheep. So to summarize what I hope you got out of this activity, where when you have a number, that is where your sheep touches the number line. That is called the boundary point. When you have an inequality, it tells you to move to the right or move to the left. If your letter is on the left side of the inequality, the direction matches up like a little arrow symbol. When you see x is greater than, that's going to be a little right arrow. If you see x is less than, that's going to be a little left arrow. The things that are tricky are when your letter is on the right side of the inequality or when you divide by a negative or multiply by a negative. When you do that, you need to mirror image what is happening. If x is on the right side of the inequality, you need to flip it around in your head. Or when you divide or multiply both sides by a negative, you need to flip it around in your head. Please make sure that you work through the rest of this activity. And if there are any future slides that are challenging, just ask and I'll make another video. But at this time, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.